Okay, so heroes versus the freezer event. I said I would do this video because, you know, we like to do heroes versus everything. Even though the freezer event is not particularly hard, um, it is always nice to do, you know, we like to tick off the sheet and have basically every single event possible done with the heroes team. So this is just another one to add to the list. Um, I'm putting Rosé in slot one, which is not ideal for him, but I think Vegito would actually just kill Freezer. Because um, if he gets a couple of supers with crits, like this first phase Freezer doesn't have a lot of HP. And we need Rosé to be able to get an opportunity to get supers in so he can get stacks. But uh, Shout out to Sokodo for gifting a channel membership. Shout out to Mega Nice for receiving it. Funny that it's off of a, a single membership as well and not like a batch. Oh boy, mega nice, the single summon um, aficionado. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. But yeah, unsurprising that um, Fujito would uh, go crazy. But yeah, that was one of the things that we said the other day that would be funny, is if instead of the special beam cannon, because obviously Goku ends up dying as well, um, goes to the other world. So it's like instead of the special beam cannon, Krillin actually just does Destructo Disc and just cut, cuts them both in half. Dokon channel. Um, I don't watch a lot of YouTube now, like as much as I used to. I used to mainly just because in my old job, I um, was working those long like, night shifts and stuff, so I basically just used to spend my whole time watching YouTube and um, like Netflix and stuff like that. But in terms of, I don't know about needs more attention, but there's a gaming channel, uh, Indie Mouse, I think I've mentioned before, which is one that I used to watch. He does like it's one of those channels where he doesn't do a video like every day, but he'll do a big video of like the edited full playthrough of a game, but with like memes and stuff in it um, every like couple of weeks. Uh, um, but I mean, was, he's not really an example of a channel that needs more attention because it's like a he's got a massive channel, but um, <laughs> my menace level is maximum. <laughs> I saw how, oh right, from the demo thing. Yeah, a bunch of people got to play the demo, which was like, it's not like all the characters or anything, is it? It's just a bunch of, um, it's like a few selected characters available for the demo. Iron Pineapple is cool, yeah, he plays a lot of the, um, he has a lot of, he has like a whole video series. I think, I remember when the first couple like came out, but he's got loads now where he basically just goes through Steam and plays every like Souls clone game, but like, a lot of the like really really low budget ones and some of them are like you know ab absolutely terrible terrible awful games that you can get on steam for like three dollars or something and then some of them are actually kind of good um because yeah it was i remember i used to watch it was some videos from him obviously varty videos the guy that does all the like big raw videos about dark souls and elden ring i think i did see i haven't watched it but i think he posted a video the other day he's gotten to play um, the Elden Ring DLC a little bit. And the video is literally called like I've played three hours of Shadow of the Elder Tree, something like that. Um, but yeah, unsurprisingly, the Heroes team absolutely annihilating Frieza. Because um, the thing is, with the Heroes team, the Limit Breaker Vegito can potentially struggle if you get to a point where his damage reduction runs out after the sixth turn because then he becomes a unit that's not really great for being in slot one um but i mean we're getting through quickly enough that it doesn't really matter too much at this point and then obviously we have the active skill for him which if we use it we get his post super defense for the turn so he does have a big like a much bigger pool of defense to use right from the beginning of the turn. Uh, 
Plus, of course, the Geo is able to put out a lot of damage. Not as much on this turns like this where he doesn't have Saiyan Raw and like the support from physical Super Saiyan 4 for Geo, but obviously still able to do a lot. And now that Rose is going to transform, um, he can do a lot of damage as well. Because what are you at now? Just 262. Yeah, it's not um, ideal for him. To be in slot one post super attacking though rose still tanks like most things in the game mm -hmm. prof stake is pretty trash over here i don't think i've seen it i'll have to have a look <laughs> but yeah the elden ring dlc is out in like is it like eight days now or something uh, but yeah, that's something that we will be playing over on the second channel, so check that out. The link is pinned in the chat if you're watching this video later on. I think the link is in the description. Um, but there is my the link tree link as well, which has all of the links, including the second channel. But yeah, we will be playing the Elden Ring DLC. Alright, so Golden Metal Cooler taking out Final Form Freezer. Um... We're up to now. We're up to turn six, so we still have our. I guess we'll float off Dark Mask King here. I mean, we could end up getting to the last phase and just getting the Dopon attack straight away because uh, we are getting fairly close to having the Dopon gauge filled. And of course, Limit Breaker Vegito still <laughs> has the potential to do like a triple super, triple crit turn. We actually, it'd be kind of funny if we beat the event without even using the Dopon attack. But I mean, this team is just uh, flying through at this point. Okay, Vegito up to 15 mil and then he gets a crit. So 10 million damage crit from Vegito on the third super there. And then Super Saiyan 4 Vegito gets a crit as well. Sadly, Dark Mask King... Well, he's got his attack buff still, so he's at 6.2. I don't know if that's enough, though. Uh, not without the additional. That's unfortunate. It does basically guarantee that we get the... Um, dope on attack against the final phase, though, because we get an extra turn here now on this phase. Yeah, Dark Mask King just eating that for double-digit damage. <laughs> So, I guess we could do this. Because I want to save the active skills for the Vegios. Perhaps same type orbs. He supered right at the end of the last turn, so he shouldn't be supering Rosé. And then Rosé can just finish him off. And then we're on to the final phase. So... This is where we have to be careful with Vegito, because if we put Vegito in slot 1 and he eats a super, then that's not ideal. But we could... Um, I mean, we'll use the active skill, because why not, right? Got the support from Vegito. See what his defense is. Because remember that the Freezer super, Golden Freezer super, is, what, like 1.1 mil? So, I think Vegito still has some damage reduction, doesn't he? He just loses... A certain amount of it need to double check um because yeah, he's got 747k so even with no damage reduction he's only taking 400k from a super here anyway that's the uh yeah 30 percent damage reduction for six turns yeah and he just has 30 percent damage reduction in general so he can't take damage from this <laughs> So we'll just do that, and then we'll do that. And then you should, yep, get the Dokon attack. So this is probably GG. He didn't super in the first slot anyway, so... And there we go. So let's see, we've got 14 mil. Obviously the support and the links from Physical Super Saiyan 4 Vegito goes a long way here, but... We have lost some of our crit chance though as well. But... <laughs> we still get a crit. So the Dogon attack doing 16 mil. He didn't get the extra additional though. So 
But I mean, there's the possibility we still just win this turn anyway, because Super Saiyan 4 Vegito does a pretty decent amount of damage, and then I guess it just depends how many supers Cooler's going to get. Oh, let's go. The super counter as well. Look at that. Managed to get the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito super counter in here with a crit as well. So a nice little bit of extra damage there. Okay, yeah. That's, looking at that damage, even if Cooler does, I think he can do three supers in one turn. Even if he does three and they all crit, that wouldn't have been enough. But, but that's all right. That means we, uh, I mean, we literally could just kill him with the active skill on this turn, and then we've won. But I'm going to, uh, wait, you have links with you, right? It's only prepared for battle. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to give it to Rosé just because, you know, we do love Super Saiyan 3 Rosé over here. Could just use the active skill, but, you know, we'll let, uh, We'll let Rosé get the W here. Getting a dodge as well. But yeah, there you go. So, I mean, very easy, right? I mean, this event, not particularly difficult. But the Freezer event, I said before, these kind of events are kind of fun because it's easy to just bring in teams that you don't get to use as often or teams that would struggle against, like, red zone bosses and things like that. Um... And just be able to use them to, you know, mess around and uh, get a fun run. So, W for the Heroes team. Yeah, not not a particularly tough one. But, you know, like I say, we do like to, uh, anytime there's any new events, we do like to make sure we get those done with the Heroes team. So, yeah, there you go. Let me know what teams you guys have been trying out on the Freezer event. I know some people will probably just beat the missions and then not play it again until they add some more missions at some point. Um, but... Yeah, it's always fun to use some different teams on this event. So let me know which ones, if any, you have been trying out here. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.